In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CuO plus HCl. This is copper 2 oxide, and this is hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we need to do is balance our molecular equation. And this is our molecular equation. It looks like if I put a 2 in front of the hydrochloric acid, everything's balanced. So that's our molecular equation. After that, we write the states for each substance. So copper 2 oxide. Copper 2 oxide is a solid. If you didn't know that, you could look that up on a solubility table, but this won't dissolve in water. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so it will dissociate completely. It'll dissolve in water, split into its ions. Chlorides, they're very soluble. So we're going to write an AQ for aqueous after that. And then water, that's a liquid. So put a little L there for a liquid. So those are our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And that's called the complete or total ionic equation. To do that, we do need to know their charges. For copper oxide, copper 2 oxide, since it's a solid, we don't need to worry about that. But for the hydrochloric acid, hydrogen's in group 1, has a 1 plus charge. Chloride has a 1 minus. And over here, we know the chloride is 1 minus. We have two of them, so this copper has to be 2 plus. And then water, we don't split that apart. So for ionic equations, solids, gases, and liquids, we leave them as they are. We don't split them apart. So now let's split up the aqueous, or the ones that can dissolve and dissociate into ions. We'll just write CuO, and I'll write the states later. I won't write that now, since that's not going to break apart. Plus, we have the hydrogen ion, and the two means we have two of those, and then the chloride ion, Cl minus, and the two applies to everything here, so we have two chloride ions. Those are our reactants in this net ionic equation. Our products. This is going to dissolve its aqueous, so we have Cu2+, plus, that's called the copper 2 ion, plus that chloride ion, Cl-, minus, and again we have two of those, plus the water, we don't split liquids apart, H2O. So this is our complete ionic equation. What we do next is cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So I'm looking for things on both sides. And really, all I'm seeing is I have two chloride ions here in the reactants and two in the products. So I'm just going to cross those out. Once I do that, I'm left with the net ionic equation. So that's everything we didn't cross out right here. So let me clean this up. I'll add the states in, and then we'll have a really nice net ionic equation for CuO plus HCl. So this is our net ionic equation for copper 2 oxide plus hydrochloric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.